it's another beautiful day. I am going to show you how I can open the blinds. Ready? You gonna show them, Jax? Hey. You gonna show them? Okay, let's go show them. Grab it. Here you go. Oh, you missed. Try again. Here you go. Woohoo! Good job, buddy. You opened the blinds. So Jax is down for a nap, and I wanted to show you guys the clothes I got yesterday with Dan when we were at Ross. So I got a few little outfits for Jax because he is already in nine months clothes and he is only six months old. I know, it's crazy. So I got him this little sweater that says cool dude and it comes with this onesie with sharks on it and these pants so yeah it's so cute so these go together so this whole outfit was $11.99 where as like at Carter's it's like super super expensive it's like at least 20 bucks for an outfit like this so I was really happy with that deal and then I also got him this outfit which is also Carter's with jeans and a polo. And they're really soft and like they feel really comfy for only $7.99. Jax has been asleep for like since 12 and it's 1.45. So I'm gonna go check on him and see if he's okay. We did a lot yesterday, so maybe that's what's going on. Maybe he just is like really tired. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna start getting stuff together for packing because I am leaving to go to see my grandma um, tomorrow. So we will see if I can get all of Jackson's stuff packed and my stuff packed. It's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> we are at Target. I have to get um, a few little things for Jax for the trip. So like some baby food and some bottled water and just some little things that um, he is going to need. Jax is just back there playing. I don't know if you can see him or not. He might be getting blinded by the sun. Oops! I better go get it out. <laughs> I'm a great mom. It is such a nice day out today. Like, it is 60 degrees. I turned on my AC because my car was hot. It's awesome.
I just got home and I came home to this. Doesn't it look nice? I can tell somebody's getting ready to go on a trip. Are you excited, honey? Yeah. Yeah? I'm just tired. Yeah, you look like, no offense, but you look like you're asleep. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you're cute. You're not stressed, are you? No, I mean, I'm a little stressed. I'm not like super stressed. I just, I'm like worried about the whole flying with the baby thing. I just don't know how it's gonna go. Jax is a super good baby, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah. I just, I just, like, I'm worried, like, about going through security and all that process <laughs> with him. That's what I'm mostly worried about. Yeah, I'm kind of worried for you too. I don't know, I, I'm feeling a little stressed with you leaving because I, I'm just like, oh, I hope she, nothing goes wrong or like the baby doesn't get lost or I don't know. Is that weird? Baby, I'm not even gonna be there. I'm just the dropping you off. The baby's not gonna get lost. He's gonna be like my number one priority, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> I know. It's just everything else, but. Well, are you nervous, little man? Do you even know what's happening to you tomorrow? Do you have any idea? Okay, I swear he's bigger, like his torso, like he's taller. I swear like he was like here yesterday and now he's like here. I'm worried I'm gonna overpack. Yeah? You yeah. always overpack. Well, I'm just worried okay, about- Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, so story time. We were on our anniversary a few years ago and we made a pit stop in Las Vegas. And we we're gonna be there just like one night, maybe no, two nights. We we're gonna hang out in Vegas for a little bit. And I had to take four trips full of stuff hey, to get all of our terrible. stuff from the from the car to the hotel. And we were in the elevator. Do you remember this? Uh, I kind of remember it. I don't know. Jax is, Jax is talking. He wants to be a part of the story. He's hungry, I think. So. Excuse me, I'm telling a story here. <laughs> excuse me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so we're in the elevator and there's like a bunch of Hispanic people. And like, I had like all this stuff, and it was just the two of us. I had like a cooler, this giant bag, and Amber had like a bunch of stuff too. And they said in Spanish, I said, oh my gosh, they have so much stuff. I don't remember, <laughs> you never told me that. Yeah, no, yes I did, I swear No, I you, you right didn't, because I would have felt so bad. And I just started laughing, like <laughs> internally, like trying not to laugh, because I understood what they were saying, because they were talking about us right in front of our faces, but they assumed we didn't speak Spanish, anyways. It was rude. pretty funny. People are rude. Yeah, people are rude. Don't judge. They were a little drunk too, just a little bit. But, you know, that's all good. But I have noticed you've gotten a lot better. Like the yeah. past few trips you've been on, you've done much better. I See, I, now that I've gotten better, now it's like I have to pack with the, like for the baby too. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's like just, just remember, you can buy almost everything for the baby while you're in Ohio. What you doing, buddy? <laughs> Is that fun? So we don't have a ton of suitcase real estate to fit all of Jax's stuff and Amber's stuff in the same suitcase. So we're gonna try it. And so I'm gonna try this whole vacuum suction-y baggy flat stuff. See this? So the idea is I'll like get all the air out of it like I think I'm gonna sit on it or something. Get all the air out so that'll lay really nice and flat. So hopefully we can fit all Jack's stuff in there okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll see how this works. I got them all in this 15 gallon bag. And I'm gonna ziplock it all but the end. Nope, hold on, hold on. And try and get all the air out. Huh? That pretty good? That's all of his bibs. Nice and flat. Yeah. We got this. I'm gonna miss the little guy. Oh, we just got everything all packed.
impact. Wow, that was that was more difficult than we thought. Uh, just because babies need a lot of stuff. And we were trying to do it all in just one suitcase so that she didn't have to take two suitcases and have to deal with that and the baby and the stroller and the diaper bag. And we did it. We had to make a few compromises and put a few things out, but we got all the fit in here and here. And I think she'll be ready to go. What we did is we decided, okay, let's not worry about diapers and wipes and all that. Just get enough for the day. And then when she gets to Ohio, she can buy all that stuff there. And that saved a lot of room and we were finally able to get it all there. Uh, Amber's just getting the baby to bed right now. And I'm going to go edit this and then we're going to get up real early tomorrow and go to the airport. We'll see you then. Bye. Yeah.